Zasco, baking together since 1930. Welcome back. You're tuned to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on SABC3. It's time for some deliciousness on your Thursday morning. So here's the thing. Are you looking for a dessert recipe that's guaranteed to be the hot topic of conversation around this Easter lunch table this year? Well, we have just the thing. Using uh, our Sasco flour and together with top chef Jenny Morris with us as well, we have a delicious Easter bun recipe that's filled with decadence. Some oh, chocolate. Yes. Jenny Morris, thank you very much for joining us this morning. So good to have you. Yeah. Um, this is great. And also, we've been talking about the, the kind of the top bakers uh, as part of Sasco, which it's is a unbelievable great... initiative, isn't it? It's a great initiative. Because we said that, you know, anyone can be that top baker and, you know, break the mold a little bit and explore exactly. without or outside of your boundaries. The box, darling. The box. Outside yes. of the box. Things outside of the box. So, so yes. how can people get involved in the kind of the top baker's well, initiative? Know, look, Sasko have got a website yeah. that they could go to. They've got a Facebook page. There's lots of information. Okay. On, on how you can get involved. You know? Right, so just head on over um, to the website that, absolutely. that's working at sasco.co.za yes. and, and join that program. I think it's great. And challenge yourself a little bit and also see what others, other people are doing, are doing. what other chefs are doing. Absolutely. It would be amazing. To get to our recipe right now, I love it. Shoe pastry, I've said it. I love, I love shoe pastry. That. It's fluffy, it's light, light. as well. And yes. then when you fill it with something amazing, then you have a winning recipe. You do. So put it together for us, Jen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the important thing with the shoe pastry is to get your water, but not to overboil it because okay. you're going to lose so you got just a water lot of the there. liquid. Water and some butter. Okay, water and some butter. Okay, and then I'm going to pop in some flour. Right. 110 grams of flour. The idea here is to bring it together immediately. Okay. Okay, you've got to bring it together immediately into a lovely little doughy ball. Right. Um, and then take it off the stove just to get it to cool down. Otherwise, we're yeah. going to end up with a scramble. No, we don't want to scramble. No yeah, scramble. Exactly. Okay. Um, so have a look at that. And look at that, how quickly yeah. that came together. It comes together so, so quick. And then you take it off the heat. Yeah. Um, and then just one at a time. Okay. You and add your eggs to it, yes. Okay, so you take it off the heat and then one at a time you... Yes. you and okay. can you believe that something like Look this can end up looking like that? No, not really. But you know? it's, that's 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 why baking is, is a science. It's a science. And it's magic at the yes. same time as yes. well. We don't really have to understand it. You just got to follow the steps. You do the steps, and of course you've got to have okay. the right flour, doll. And you have to have the right flour. Of course, <laughs> I know that you you only swear by Sasco flour. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I'm going to quickly just go into the pot with one. Yeah. Incorporate one, one, one. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna, I think we're going to just pop those buns together. Okay. Yeah, I would love to see how that works. So just quickly with the hand blender. Yeah. Look at all that steam all releasing the steam now. Coming well. up. And you've just said the magic word. Yeah. Steam. There is no yeah. baking powder in here. That's it's the beauty the about steam shoe pastry. It's the steam that gives. Yes, that, that gives puff. you that puff. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So once we once we have that process done, we have our yes. sheet pastry. What's the yes. next thing? Well, then they, they go into the oven. The important thing okay. here so is to... So do you to, just make little balls? Or? You can make little balls. You can pipe them. And you can just use the spoon. Okay. It really doesn't matter what shape you do. Yes. Um, but the important thing is once they have puffed up and they're ready... Yes. ...is to bring them out and to poke them because you want that steam to escape. Otherwise, okay. the bun is going to collapse. Okay, so make sure See? you do that. Yes. Very important tip when using yes. shoe pastry yes. to make sure that it retains its shape. The shape. And then you have... Some, oh, what is this? Some this white is, chocolate? What this is, is and honey and cream oh, oh, and oranges. Oh, my goodness. It's just amazing. And I like a lot of filling. You can see I'm a big girl and I like big food. Oh, and goodness And then just, me. just grab. Look at that. It's so easy. Listen, it's if you so, want to get so your hands easy. on the recipe, I think this is definitely something that you can try out. If you, especially if you haven't worked the shoe pastry, if you haven't made it, challenge yourself a bit, of, a little bit. Do something different this weekend. Uh, SMS the keyword SASCO to 33728. That's SASCO to 33728. And we'll send you an ingredients list and also a link to oh. the recipe that you can try out. So while Jen is putting the final one here together for us, mm. here's a quick look at those steps once again. Are you looking for a dessert recipe that's guaranteed to be the hot topic of conversation around the Easter lunch table this year? Why not delight your guests with these Sasko filled Easter buns with chocolate sauce? To get started, add 175 mils of water and 75 grams of cubed butter to a pot. Heat until melted, then add a pinch of salt and 110 grams of Sasko wheat flour. Stir until incorporated. Beat in three eggs one at a time. Place the mixture in a piping bag. Pipe eight mounds onto a baking tray. Bake at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. 
For the filling, add honey, 150 grams of cream cheese, and the zest of one orange to a bowl. Fold to combine. Then add 100 grams of mascarpone and fold to combine. Half the baked buns and fold them with a cream cheese mixture. Drizzle with melted dark chocolate. Sprinkle with almonds, dust with icing sugar, and enjoy this recipe perfect for entertaining friends and family over the Easter weekend. And there you have it, look at them. It is deliciousness on a plate. It, it is so good. That filling is amazing. I've just had a bit of a taste as well. The keyword is Sasco. SM is that 23728. That's Sasco 23728. Jenny, thank you very, very much thank for you. sharing with us yes. this morning. So generously and it and it is so like, easy. This is a generously delicious recipe at that. But uh, like we mentioned, if you want to keep up with Sasco Top Bakers, what you need to do is head on over to sasco.co.za. You can also find it on Sasco's Facebook page um, and the Sasco Top Bakers Facebook group. And uh, you can also then uh, take a look at what they are doing and also challenge yourself and get involved. Absolutely. You know, it's all about baking. It's all about having fun. It's all about extending your knowledge in the kitchen. Our grannies did it. Hello, this is 80 hey, years old. Darling. Come on, 80 years of history in a bag. We love it. Jenny, thank you very much. Thank Once you. Once again, the keyword is Sasco. It. It's Ms. That 233728. Sasco, baking together since 1930.